Hey, Kath, you don't need a costume like that to scare the daylight out of people. How many times do I have to tell you, huh? I'm not going out to scare anyone. I'm going trick-or-treating. <laughs> Hey gang, Uncle Todd and Sonny here with our third Halloween TV special. No, oh, fourth Halloween TV special. Uh, this is uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost Halloween special, or the uh, title on it officially was He Ain't Scary, He's Our Brother. And uh, really couldn't find much information on this, uh, only that it was an animated uh, Halloween special, uh, 1979, and it had a pretty good voice cast. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Michael Sheehan, Hal Smith, John Stevenson, Jenny Tyler, Frank Welker, uh, along with Greg Alter, Lucille Bliss, Diana McCannon, Julie McWhorter, and Marilyn Schreffler. All well-known voice people. Uh, the uh, special opens with uh, Casper reading that there's going to be trick-or-treating that night. And so that no one knows that he is a ghost, he decides to go in disguise. And no one will notice I'm a real ghost. I hope. Trick-or-treat. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Halloween, here I come! Meanwhile, his family, Winifred the Witch and her cat, Harry Scary and Screech, are all preparing to scare people this Halloween. Billy Boo, are we ready for Halloween? Our biggest night of the year? What do you say, Winifred? Well, before they can get out, Harry calls them back and says, you know, we got to sing our song. So they sing their scary Halloween song, at which point Casper comes in. And uh, when they find out that he's planning to go trick-or-treating instead of scare people, they don't take it too well. For your own good, Cap. If you won't act like a ghost, at least you won't get out there and make a fool out of yourself. Well, unfortunately for them, Casper does get away, eventually, and is still going to go trick-or-treating. And at this point, we are introduced to a group of orphans who uh, can't afford actual costumes, but they can get bags and masks. <laughs> I'm sorry there was no money in the orphanage budget for costumes, kids. That's all right, Mr. Duncan. Here, Dirk. These masks and bags will do just fine, Mr. Duncan. We'll get back to them later. Right now, Casper's trying his hand at trick-or-treating. Unfortunately, Harry, Scary, Screech, and Winifred have spotted him. My, what a clever costume. You almost look like a real ghost. Well, how diddly do? That's because he is a real ghost. Who said that? Well, that didn't go so well. Fortunately, the orphans aren't having much better luck themselves. From this neighborhood. So? I suggest you try closer to home. But 
We don't have a home. Darn old rich snobs. Well, Casper's going to give it another try. Hey, that's a pretty good trick, Sonny. How'd you do it? If they be for us, go! <laughs> well, Casper is so disgusted. He's going to go home. Uh, meanwhile, the orphans are going to give it one more shot themselves. Trick or treat! Okay, gang. We'll go in as soon as they leave. Here they come. You first, Carmelita. Then... Well, Casper's ready to pack it all in. Throws his costume away. It is about to head home when uh, he runs into the orphans. We haven't had much luck so far tonight either. But we're not quitting. Uh, why don't you come along with us? Gee, thanks. I'd like to, but I think there's something I ought to tell you. I'm not wearing a costume. I'm a real ghost. Yeah, they have the typical reaction when hearing such a thing. Yeah, right. I mean, wouldn't you? So, Casper has to uh, prove it to them. Oh, I can fade off and on and fly. Wow. Wow. Oh, then I can go through things. Pretty impressive. The kids don't have the reaction Casper thought they would. You Casper, even if you are a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Before they can go, uh, Casper does explain about his uh, family. And he says he'll try to keep them from interfering while the other kids get the candies. And they agree that they'll share it with Casper because they're nice kids. So, Casper once again tries to reason with Winifred, Screech, and Harry Scary. If you want to bother them, you'll have to do it over my dead body. Oh boy, here we go again. Get him, Screech! Looks like they hug him out to dry. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I tried not to, but it's such an obvious joke to make. Where are you going? Come on. Really? You, you, you're going to go all... Go ahead and salt then. I, I am sorry, but that was just too good a joke to pass up. I like a good dad joke. Anyway, Casper does manage to get free, but he doesn't arrive in time to stop his family from ruining this attempt at trick-or-treating. Thank you, ma'am. It gets worse. She's going to call the orphanage and complain. Well, they're going to make one more try. And Casper, once again, tries to run interference. Trouble. Ah, catch, catch, catch. Worry, 
worry, worry. So, while Casper is waylaid for the third time, uh, this is the worst prank yet. Huh? Let me give you a hand, kiddo. Don't say I never gave you anything. Here. A phone? What nice children. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop! You're not supposed to trick after you've been given a treat. But, ma'am, we didn't. We'll clean up this mess, ma'am. You most certainly will. <laughs> Halloween doesn't seem like fun anymore. That's right, Mr. Duncan. They're cleaning up the mess right now. When they finish, I'll send them directly home. It's just too much for Casper. He's felt like he's made everything this huge mess for his new friends. And so he's going to make his way home by himself. Hey! Hold up, Lee D. Hold it, kiddo! Where you going, huh? Hold up there! <laughs> Not sure why Casper won't talk to him. Harry Scary seeks out the kids who uh, set him straight on a few things. Hey, what's the matter with my little pal Casper? Did he eat too much candy? <laughs> what candy? Your little pal took the blame for everything you and your wacky friends did. He did? Thanks to you, our trick-or-treating fun is over. Feeling kind of bad. Harry decides maybe he can make it up to Casper and the kids. So he comes up with a plan on how to deal with uh, Winifred and Screech. And... Uh, as they work it out, two kids are sent to a house as bait. Fine. It is on, dummy. There must be a kink in the holes. Here, let me have a look. This is for your own good screech. Having taken care of that, we now cut back to Casper, who's not doing too well. Gee, it would have been better for those little orphan kids if I'd never joined them. Golly, for a while, I felt like I was a real little boy with brothers and sisters. Poor Casper. Someone comes to his door. Now, who could that be? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Those voices! I know those voices! Could it possibly be? Hi, Casper! It's us, us alright! Trick or treat! Happy Halloween. Halloween! Yes, his orphan friends. How'd they get the costumes? Well, that nice rich old lady that uh, helped them with the prank on the two pranksters bought them for them and they've all come to invite Casper to go trick-or-treating and they uh, tell them how Harry Scary uh, fixed everything for him so out they head thank you for forgiving me And that was uh, Casper's Halloween special. He ain't scary, he's my brother. It's a cute little uh, film, TV special. Uh, there's, it, it's made for kids. There's uh, some funny slapstick. There's some heartfelt pathos. All in all, a, a pretty enjoyable little romp for little kids and uh, parents aren't uh, going to be too bored with it it's only a half hour so you know and uh, it's it's enjoyable 
Uh, I, I was never a big Casper fan when I was a little kid. Um, when it comes to Harvey comics, I generally preferred Richie Rich because he generally, in between, you know, jokes about how rich he was, like needing a uh, an empty mind to store all his uh, money from his allowance. He would often fight gangsters, supervillains, and other things. And as for the ghosts, I preferred Spooky because he acted like a ghost and he had more slapstick kind of fun in his attempts to scare people. Plus, he wore a little derby and that made him kind of cool when you're seven. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a neat little... Uh, Halloween uh, special for the younger set and uh, although I'm not sure even as a kid I would have liked it but uh, no no I think I would have just for the uh, the antics of uh, Winifred Harry Scary and Screech they uh, they're kind of more interesting to me than Casper Casper's kind of a one-note character which is the way he was created he's just a ghost that wants to be friends with people. Actually, it was the uh, the '90s movie with Christina Ricci. Actually, had a more interesting take on the character. I see, very much was still a little boy in that, and was trying to befriend Christina Ricci's character, who was a girl. You know, getting into that age there where they just starting to notice the opposite uh, sex. But uh, for this, uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this one. There's not a lot of info, and it's just a pleasant little juvenile jaunt, as we say. Well, that's all I have. Uh, for this episode uh please hit like share and subscribe and stay after the credits for my favorite scene